All right, good evening, everyone. Welcome to the virtual college exploration for all Pennsylvania students, sponsored by the Pennsylvania Association for College Admissions Counseling, PACAC, and StriveScan. PACAC is a nonprofit association comprised of more than 1,200 school counselors, college admissions counselors, independent educational consultants, and other professionals responsible for guiding students through the important transition from high school to post-secondary options. Thank you for joining us tonight. A few housekeeping announcements before we get started. You can use the Q&A button on your screen to type your questions to our presenter at any time. Your camera and microphone are off, so the panelists cannot see or hear you, so be sure to use that Q&A button. This is just one of many different sessions happening, so be sure to check out the full schedule at pacax.org. That's P-A-C-A dot org. The presentation is being recorded and will be available within about a week at that same website, pacax.org. Again, that's P-A-C-A-C dot org. I'd now like to turn it over to our presenter. Thank you so much. Welcome everyone. My name is Jordan Fleming. I'm the admissions counselor for Eastern Pennsylvania. So I'll be the one working with you, helping you through this process. I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen so I can tell you a little bit about High Point. So we are locate, located right in the center of North Carolina near Greensboro, Winston-Salem, if you ever heard of that, about eight hours from Philadelphia. We have a little under 5,000 undergraduate students and about 60 different majors to choose from. So we're a liberal arts university. We are a gated community. It's absolutely gorgeous on campus. I definitely encourage you to get down here and visit when you get a chance if you have not already. Um, we have a lot of opportunities to get involved in that I'm going to touch on. And we're also two hours from the beach, two hours from the mountains, and only an hour and a half from our biggest city, Charlotte. So there is a ton to do in the area. You will never be bored. This is our mission statement. So at High Point University, every student receives an extraordinary education in an inspiring environment with caring people. This is something you will see from your first day on campus and even before when you're starting to talk with your success coach, who's your academic advisor. We want to make sure that every student is receiving this right here. We want to make sure that we are there to help you and guide you through this whole process, starting with me. At High Point, we actually go off of a four pillar system versus three. So of course, academic excellence, that is the most important thing here at High Point we, in every single major and every class that you take. We want to make sure that you have up-to-date technology and are really getting involved in what you're learning. So every single class is actually 25% experiential learning or hands-on. So you're going to get that in your general education classes as well as your major classes. We also are known as the premier life skills university. So we like to take it a step further, not just preparing you academically, but also with life skills. From the very first semester, you will actually take a class with Dr. Corbain, our president of High Point University, who is gonna teach you anything from financial literacy to time management skills down to how to give a proper handshake. So he is someone who actually sits on a bunch of Fortune 500 companies and has had a full career in business and he wants to bring to the table what he has learned through his profession and be able to share it with all of our students. So that is a required class that everybody takes and it is very informative. We also are really big on modeling values and building character. This is something that is seen through all the clubs that you participate in, you will see this in all of our professors and how they try to help encourage you to better yourself. And you'll see this throughout the presentation as well. As I said, at High Point, we have over 60 different majors to choose from. So there are plenty to get involved in. It is very easy to double major across different colleges or minor in something. As you can see, business is definitely our most popular major here at High Point. Within that category, we have entrepreneurship, sales, marketing, accounting. So there's a ton to choose from. 
Biology is our top second major. We actually just built a brand new undergraduate of natural science building filled with amazing lab facilities. If you have not toured campus, I really encourage you to do our virtual tour just so you can kind of take a look at all these amazing opportunities. Um, exercise science, psychology, all in our top majors as well as education. And as you can see, undeclared is actually at the top of our list. Yes, this is not necessarily a declared major, but actually it's the most popular way to come into High Point. So when you come to High Point, you're actually paired with a success coach and your success coach is essentially your academic advisor. So they are there to help make sure that you are having an easy transition from high school into college. They're going to make sure that you have your four year plan mapped out and they're going to help figure out if you want to minor in something, if you would prefer to double major, whatever it might be. They're going to make sure you're getting involved on campus and also kind of be your middleman to the rest of campus. So you are required to meet with them once a month, but you can meet with them as much as your heart desires. They are amazing and just there to help you through this process. So if you come in undeclared or as a business major, you will stay with them for two years. If you come in, in as any other major, you would just stay with them for one year and then be sent off to your full-time academic advisor once you have kind of acclimated to campus and don't need, you know, as much support in figuring out what campus is about and all the resources that we have. Of course, your academic advisor is going to be there for you to figure out your plans and help answer any questions that you might have. But by then you already know the layout of campus and where to go if you're interested in study abroad. So you don't need that extra support. Although if you come in undeclared, you are going to be with them for two years because you'll go through this opportunity called project discovery. Even if you're between a couple different majors, say biology and psychology, I always encourage my students to go undeclared because it is such a wonderful program. You know, your success coach is going to help you get into those intro classes that really spark your interest, which is only going to help you figure out if it's something that you want to do. So our credits, you, your, our classes are actually four credits versus three. So that, that fourth credit is for 25% hands-on learning. So whether you are shadowing somebody or doing a group project, you're not just being lectured at the whole time. So this can really help you figure out if it's the best path for you. They will also help you take personality tests and career tests. They will have you go out and interview professionals and different careers that might interest you so you can kind of get an idea of what their day-to-day -day life looks like as well as just shadowing professionals and talking to professors as well they're such an amazing resource to you on campus you'll see how small our classes are in a little bit but just getting connected with your success coach our career office and your professors is going to be really big in this project discovery path you don't have to officially declare your major until the end of your sophomore year, so you will have those two years to figure out the best path for you. At High Point, we also have state-of-the-art academic facilities. So this is actually a picture of our planetarium that is in that brand new natural science building I was telling you about. This is a phenomenal experience. I mean, we have different shows every Friday just so everyone can come in and experience it, not just our science majors, but you know, you're not just going to have astronomy classes in here. You could actually have anatomy classes, earth science, chemistry, biology, and they will take advantage of that planetarium. So really amazing facilities. This is just one example, but you will see a little bit more throughout the presentation. Again, definitely encourage you to go do the virtual tour so you can see our human biomechanics lab, which is a place that we actually get to try out some Adidas shoes and equipment to test them for athletes. Um, we've actually have a full golf simulator that you can play at any individual golf course in the whole world. So just crazy different technology, but that's because we wanna make sure that you have this up-to-date technology so you know exactly what you're going to be doing when you graduate and you don't have to relearn when you enter your career. Our student faculty ratio is actually 15 to 1 and the average class size is going to be 17. 
So we probably have the biggest class being about 30, 32 students, and that would be your general education classes. This is a picture of one of our summer advantage classes. So during the pandemic, as you can tell, but your professors either have had 25 plus years of experience in that specific field, or they have their doctor degree. So they are very knowledgeable, a really great resource to kind of pick their brain again about different career paths. If you're falling behind in a class, if you just have some questions, you know, when you're in class, you can raise your hand and get an answer right then and there. They're going to know you by name. They're going to have a ton of office hours to be there to help you and you can even wait after class to talk to them if you have a specific question so you're not just a number at high point you're not going to be sitting in a massive lecture hall with 200 plus students and you know having a clicker that was my experience in college it's going to be very personal and they are going to be there to help you through this process which is really amazing um, Another thing that I want to point out is we do have a four-year graduation guarantee. This is because we don't have all of our classes only, you know, available for the spring semester or, hey, this class is only available for the fall. We have them offered all year round so we can make sure that you're able to graduate in four years without having any scheduling issues. And um, this is something that's really important to us. We want to make sure that we're able to help you graduate in time. We also have a tuition-free fifth-year master's that's new. So this is actually going to be a master's in business leadership and communication. So if that's something that interests you, then wonderful. If you are an art major, a theater major, or education major, this can absolutely help you as well. This is going to be business leadership, which anyone in any career can benefit from, and communication skills, which everyone needs. So. If that's something you want to take advantage of, you would just have to maintain a 3.5 GPA or higher, and then you can apply into the program and graduate at fifth year with your master's. This is another one of our learning labs on campus, one of our state-of-the-art facilities. We actually have three different studios. This is our new studio, which is Studio B. We have a beh or behind the scenes Studio A where it's all the computers because we want you to learn in front of the camera and behind the camera. And then we have a Studio C that is dedicated to kind of like a talk show host area so you can kind of get that idea as well. Um, pictured here is Byron Pitts in our new studio with three high point students. He is one of our innovators who comes to campus and helps our students. He actually worked with ABC news for like 20 some years. So he's a really great resource in helping our students develop their skills and get ready for being in front of the camera. Having access to industry leaders is something that is very important to us. So up in the top left corner, that is actually Mark Randolph and he is the co-founder of Netflix. So he comes to campus, he's our entrepreneur in residence is what he's called. So he will come work very closely with our entrepreneurship club students. Last year, they actually built a self-driving golf cart. So he is going to come to campus. He's going to Skype our students and help answer any questions they have and see kind of how he got to where he is today. On the top right, that's actually Larry Quinn. He is our chair of the Department of Marketing and Sales. So he actually resides on campus. He is there 24-7. Um, he is a really big business guy. He actually worked for Xerox in Downingtown, Pennsylvania. So, you know, right in Eastern Pennsylvania for 30 years. And now he is on campus helping all of our students come up with their sales pitch and elevator pitch. You know, if he sees you sitting in one of our, um, we have this area set up that's like an airplane and you can sit down and if he sees you sitting over there, he might come over and sit down and say, hey, tell me your elevator pitch so that he can kind of help you develop that. And he always says, you never know who you're going to be sitting next to on an airplane, so you always want to be prepared. Um, on the bottom left, this is actually St. Marshalls, who is the CEO of the Dallas Mavericks. This past summer, she actually brought a bunch of our students, and that's what we have pictured right here, to do internship opportunities in Dallas. And 
I mean, it's just phenomenal. She's brought so many different opportunities to campus and she's our sports executive in residence. And then in the bottom right hand corner, last but certainly not least, Steve Wozniak, who is our innovator in residence and he is the co-founder of Apple. So again, he comes, he works a lot with our entrepreneurship club students. So if that's something that interests you, I definitely encourage you to get involved with that club specifically. It's open to all majors. And he just loves to talk to our students about kind of, you know, where he's been, how he got to where he is now. And he loves trying to help come up with crazy different ideas. Like I said, modeling values and building character is so important to us. You know, this is a picture from this year. One of my favorite traditions that we have is called the freshman book program. So students actually bring their favorite childhood book, write a sweet note, and then we donate those books to children in need who maybe can't afford to just go out and buy some books to read at night. So that's one of my favorite things that we do. It is so sweet and every single freshman participates in that. Our students actually donate over 100,000 community service hours collectively and that's not because it's required that's just coming from different classes having opportunities or for example our martin luther king day of service but it's actually you don't have class but it is a day on so you get to pick from all these different opportunities to give back to our local community whether it's building bikes for children in need or going and helping out you know at the local homeless shelter there's so many different options and whatever kind of drives you. We also have a lot of different clubs on campus that are community service driven. So plenty of opportunities to continue giving back. And that's something that we really look for on your application as well. So I encourage you, if you've ever been a part of any community service opportunities or you know, any part-time jobs, anything really, just put that on your application. This is another tradition that we have at High Point. So your first weekend that you come to campus, every single freshman will sign our honor code. And then they are hung somewhere on campus, whether it's in a dorm or one of our student centers. But this is something that we really live by. When you apply to High Point, it will ask you if you are okay with abiding by our honor code. And again, like I said, that first Sunday after you move in on campus, you will sign it. Our four-year development and life skills is, like I said, something that's very important. So as I stated, you do start off learning from our life skills seminar with Dr. Colbain, but it does not end there. So this is actually one of our favorite and most popular opportunities on campus to develop your life skills. It is our prime steakhouse that is located in one of our two student centers. So. It is a learning lab, but you do get to participate in eating really delicious food. So you can actually plan to attend using your meal swipe once a week to come to Prime. You do have to make a reservation. You have to be on time. You can't take out your cell phone. And as you can see, they're kind of dressed up nice in this picture. You know, you have to look presentable. Um, you don't have to wear, of course, like a suit jacket, but just a little bit nicer than maybe your normal dinner plans. As you're dining here, you will have servers that come around and they will actually teach you proper etiquette. So like I said, it is amazing food, but it is with a purpose. So many business meetings and interviews are held in restaurants nowadays. We really wanna make sure that we are developing you and helping you be able to present yourself in a nice manner and giving off the best first impression. If you're in an interview where they just interviewed somebody the day before, you have the exact same resume, they are gonna be looking at your etiquette because they wanna make sure that you know how to present yourself when you're talking to clients if you are hired. So something that you get to practice once a week for your whole time at High Point. We also have an amazing learning lab called our BTNT. Um, boardroom. So this right here is actually an opportunity that's pictured. So I'm sure everyone has seen Shark Tank. This is kind of set up like that. So we have our own version of Shark Tank here at High Point University where students do come up with their own, you know, things to sell and then business professionals will come in and actually 
they will pay to have that product work. So I'm sure you guys have pop sockets and wallets on the back of your phone. If you've ever seen the one that is combined, the pop socket with the wallet, and you can find this on Amazon, that was actually created by a High Point University student and they presented it in our Shark Tank. <laughs> so really awesome opportunities. There's been so many different inventions too that are really neat to talk about, like a leash that actually can take the temperature of the pavement to make sure that it's safe for your dog's paws to touch the pavement. So that's one of my favorite because I'm a big dog fan, but <laughs> just a lot of really great inventions that have come about just here at High Point University. And like I said, their products are invested in and I mean, now they're selling on Amazon, which is really neat. And of course, we are in, in such an inspiring environment. I mean, we have statues of amazing people all throughout campus. This is a picture of Sir Isaac Newton, and we have so many other influential people from our history on campus that you will pass by every single day for inspiration. You know, we have these big thinking chairs that are there for a purpose. They're really fun to take pictures on, but they're there just to remind you that yes, your dreams can be big and they should be, and they are attainable as long as you take the correct steps and really work hard to get where you are. Um, I always like to point out snow is not normal down here. This was actually from two years ago. We had a big snowstorm of about 10 inches and that is the most snow that I have seen down here in my 10 years. So, you know, once you have snow here, it is very exciting. Exciting. It's a very big event, but it is not common. So I know a lot of my Eastern Pennsylvania folks like to ask me that. At High Point, we also have 16 Division One sports. Basketball is the most popular. That's where you're going to see a lot of school spirit. We're actually in the middle of building our brand new basketball arena. It's actually going to be finished for this upcoming fall. We're so excited to have that new facility lacrosse and soccer they follow behind of being the most popular to attend the games and our lacrosse team has been doing really well the past couple years so really exciting a lot of school spirit there we have over 200 different clubs to be a part of so if you're not a division one athlete but you still want to be participating in sports we have amazing club opportunities that usually they practice about two to three times a week and then we also have intramural sports so Ultimate Frisbee is the most popular, just for an example. We have beach volleyball that our students play all the time. We also have religious groups, academic groups. We have Greek life. So if that interests you, it's about 37% of our student body that's involved. Greek Village is right on campus. We have five fraternities, five sororities, so really great opportunities to get involved. And there's also the philanthropy behind that. So if you want to give back, there's always opportunities to give back with Greek life as well. Study abroad before I touch on application plans. That's something else I wanted to touch on real quick. I know it's something that's really popular and I always encourage my students to get involved with study abroad. We have over 60 different opportunities to go for the full semester. You can do major specific opportunities or you can use your general education classes. Our two most popular locations are Italy and Australia. And then we also have what's called a May Master Opportunity. So this is actually, you're on campus all spring. Let's say you're taking a global education class, which means that you'll travel, um, for business practices in Italy. So what will happen is once you're done taking all your finals in May, you'll actually go with your professor and all the students in that class with for the business practices in Italy and go emerge yourself in that culture for two to four weeks, depending on that specific class. So it's a really great opportunity if you just kind of want to dip your toes into studying abroad or you want to go on even more adventures. We have one that's in Australia. There's one in Italy, Japan. So they're not limited by location either. A ton of amazing opportunities. We also have our Common App open. It opened August 1st, so if you are a senior, great time to get that application in. Our early decision, which is our binding agreement, is going to be due November 1st, so just a couple weeks away. 
Our early action is going to be due November 15th. This is non-binding and if you're here today, I strongly encourage you to apply one of these two ways. Once we get to regular decision, it is a lower acceptance rate and you don't find out your decision until about mid-March. So with early decision, there's a lot of amazing benefits that come with this. You get the earliest notification date. You have priority when it comes to your housing selection and your dorm move in. You get to move in a whole day earlier and beat the traffic. You get priority when it comes to your classes over the rest of the freshman class. You actually get to start talking to your success coach in January of your senior year. So only a couple months away and you get a reserved parking spot. So if you come to High Point, you are guaranteed parking all four years. You do not need to pay anything extra. Um, but if you are an early decision student, you actually get your own spot that no one can take. <laughs> and back to application, just to kind of let you know what we're looking at. So we look at your GPA on a 4.0 unweighted scale. 3.4 is about the average of being accepted. And we are test optional when it comes to being accepted into the university. On a normal year, we typically require test scores if students want to be considered for higher level of scholarship. This year, we're completely waiving that. So if you're wanting to be considered for a higher scholarship in our presidential range, that's waived this year. Or if you want to apply into our honors college, we're also waiving test scores. We know it's been so hard for you guys to be able to take the SAT and ACT with everything going on in the world. So we don't want to stress you out with that. We are completely waiving it. Now, if you want to submit those test scores, I definitely encourage you to go ahead and do that. Our average SAT score is about like a 1230. So just to kind of keep that in mind when you're thinking about submitting those scores, you can also reach out to me and I can let you know based on your GPA if it's a good idea to include them or keep them out based on, you know, what you would get for scholarship. So we're very holistic when we look at your application. I will read all the applications for Eastern Pennsylvania. So if you have any questions, like I said, please feel free to reach out to me. Um, I'm here to help you through this process, be your biggest advocate and help you any way that I can. Um, you know, when it comes to scholarship, you're gonna be automatically considered and you will find out your initial scholarship and your acceptance letter. So let's say you apply early action, you're gonna find out your decision on December 16th. And on that day, let's say you find out that you have our highest level scholarship, you fall into our presidential range and you have an initial scholarship of $10,000. There will be next steps in your application, I'm sorry, in your admissions packet that will let you know what to do next. So if you do fall into our presidential range, you'll actually have the opportunity to interview to increase that scholarship. So it's a two-step process. So the scholarship that you have in your admissions packet, that there's gonna be more opportunities to increase from there. So you could potentially interview, get 5,000 more, now you have $15,000 per year. Okay. Some key takeaways from today that I just want you to remember. I'm your biggest advocate. Please let me know if there's anything I can do to help you. Don't forget about our awesome opportunity for our tuition-free masters. That's something that we're so excited to offer to our students. And like I said, it can benefit every single individual, whether you're coming from the business world or not. Some next steps that I just wanna to offer to you, definitely, connect with me on the next slide. I have my information so you guys can take note if you don't already have my contact. Um, going online to our webpage is highpoint.edu, clicking on campus tour, you can come visit us now. We are having socially distant tours on campus. They're individual family tours, so you would only go on tour with who you came with and one student ambassador. We are requiring masks and they are on golf carts that are wiped down in between tours just to make sure that there's no germs being spread. Um, we also require that you take a health survey when you come on campus just to make sure that you haven't been in contact with anybody with COVID recently, as well as making sure you're not showing any symptoms. So really great opportunity there, but also we have a lot of virtual information sessions. So every Tuesday, 
at 4 p.m. We're going to have what's called a Panther Perspective. This is a great opportunity for you to learn about different topics. So this Tuesday, we actually have our Director of Financial Planning coming and he's giving really great advice and tips for applying and what the financial aid packages might look like here at High Point. Um, there's also Q&A sessions. We have the School of Business coming up, School of Natural Sciences, pre-professional program. So definitely just go online and look at that list. We also have virtual information sessions every day at three. And like I said, here is my contact information. So please take this opportunity to write down my information. Um, you can give me a call. That is my desk phone and that is my email. And then I'm just going to open it up to questions. So if anybody has any specific questions that you want me to answer, um, please go ahead and put that in the Q&A and then I can go ahead and get that for you. Move this up for one more second. So like I said, if you go to the question and answer, you can put in any questions that you might have about High Point, and I will be happy to answer. Since I'm not seeing any questions so far, I'm going to talk a little bit about our, about our career and professional development opportunities. If nobody has any questions by the time I'm done, then I will let us go. But just want to make sure that you have an opportunity to ask, or if you want to email me, that's great too. But you know, we have a lot of amazing internship opportunities here at High Point. We have 100% guarantee of an internship if you work with our career and professional development office and follow their guidelines and their opportunities to help you. So, you know, for example, if you come in and say that you really want to have an internship opportunity with the FBI, then they will help you get ready for interviews. We have mock interview rooms on campus where you're actually able to pair with a professor and practice and they will video this and you have to watch it back with them, but it's an amazing opportunity just to develop your interview skills and make sure that you are not using your hands too much like I'm doing and you're prepared. They also will help you develop your resume, make sure that it's looking good, make sure your LinkedIn profile is up to date with a professional picture and they will help you apply to this job. Um, we actually did have a student that worked with or had an internship opportunity with the FBI this past summer. Unfortunately, was not able to do it because of COVID-19, but we'll be doing it this next summer. So she's super excited for that. But in order to get there, she had to have other internship, internship opportunities the previous summer. So they were able to help her say, hey, well, if you internship, you know, with a local police department and work with them, this will help develop your resume and have amazing things to add on there so that eventually now her junior summer before senior year, she's able to intern with the FBI, her dream internship opportunity in Quantico. So that's what I mean by they're going to help you get to where you want to go. This also helps with amazing connections. Um, for when it's time to apply to your real career job. Awesome. Well, thank you guys all so much for being here today. I really appreciate your time. Like I said, if you ever have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. That's what I'm here for. Um, but so glad you were able to come and I hope you have a great day. Thank you.
All right, everyone, thank you for joining us. When you close this window, there will be a link to a very quick four question survey and we'd appreciate any feedback that you can provide this evening. Also, just to remind you, this was one of many sessions being hosted, so be sure to sign up for additional sessions at pacac.org. That's P-A-C-A-C dot org. In about a week, you'll be able to find this session's recording as well as all of the other recorded sessions at pacac.org. Thank you. Have a good night.